morning. It is a beautiful Sunday. We're still out the land, just relaxing. It's been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful relaxation weekend. Good for the mind, good for the soul, good for the body. I'm gonna relax this morning and then, uh, I don't know, I got no plans, no plans. Ready to go home? Our uh, mini staycation is over. Back to the real world. <laughs> Why can't we just live out here, baby? We don't own it. Oh, that's true, because we don't own it. But Robert, Dad, Carolyn, thank you for letting us use this. It's always a wonderful, ah, wonderful day. Are you ready to go home? <laughs> He's like, open my window, please. All right, we are home, unpacked, and now I've just kind of got to clean up the house, do some dishes, finish the laundry, you know, adulting. But I just got an email from GoPro saying that the uh, Karma Grip has been released. <sighs> I don't need it. I have no need for a stabilized GoPro. I have none. I don't mountain bike. I don't uh, uh, wakeboard. I do no extreme sports whatsoever. But do I want it? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I need to go to like Gadgets Anonymous uh, meetings or something because I am addicted to gadgets. Um, I'm doing all my willpower I have in my body not to go to Best Buy right now and buy the Karma Grip. I'm not going to do it. I might. I'm not. I'm not, but I'm not. <clears throat> All right, I, I literally sat here for like 30 minutes on the Best Buy website with the Karma Grip in my bag, debating if I really need it or not. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need a stabilizer for my GoPro right now. There's zero need, but I have an addiction to gadgets, but I didn't because I let, I let it sit there in too long and when I refreshed the bag, it's now already sold out in stores in Lubbock already. So that's good, thank you. The other people that bought it to keep me from buying something I have no need for whatsoever. Crisis averted. So the sweet little teapot is a tea uh, maker that I got from Jen and Andrew. Thank you very much. Check this thing out. So it's this awesome clear teapot. And the inside I can do loose leaf tea, but here is the cool part. So I've decided to uh, clean out our coffee and tea pantry area to organize it. I might have bitten off more than I could chew. <laughs> we have way more tea um, than I thought we did, but this should be fun. All right, it's time for another episode of Ask Aaron Anything. I am going to try to figure out a way to maybe announce that I'm doing these a couple days early on YouTube. That way people who watch on YouTube can also ask me questions, because right now it's just on Facebook. But, posted this up on Facebook. The first question was from uh, my friend Ben Sarzinski. Uh, so I posted the Ask Aaron Anything with a picture of me pointing at him like this. So Ben's asked me if my uncle's name is Sam and if I own a top hat. So Uncle Sam, we want you for the for the US Army or military, whatever it is. Um, so, hardy hi har Ben. Miles Roachin asked, any recommendations on a drone for a 10 year old? Uh, wants one with a camera and I don't want to spend a ton of money. So, uh, I don't know a whole lot about the drone toys. I've only researched the drone as tools. So, I would definitely just start Googling it and then once you find one that you like, 
YouTube that drone name plus reviews on YouTube and you'll get a bunch of people that are talking about it and will show sample videos and stuff. And that's a great way to kind of get an idea if it's what you want. Definitely make sure it has bumpers around the um, blades. Allison Cook, can you recommend some good places with vegan food? Yeah. Start with Indian food, if you like Indian food. There's a great one on 50th Street. Um, Indian food always has vegan options because there's a huge amount of the vegan population that is vegan. Um, and then Chewy's has a vegan option for enchiladas. BJ's has a vegan option. Chipotle has a vegan option. Uh, Freebirds has a vegan option. Mm, those are the places that I know for sure that we go to eat that have vegan options. Um, and then Italian food places, just make sure the noodles don't have eggs in them, and then your marinara is good to go. Uh, Spider Johnson, <laughs> he posted a picture and uh, said he was thinking about going vegan, but was wondering if his foot would look like this. Hardy har har har. Um, that's all the uh, questions I had, not very many. Hopefully um, I can add this to YouTube so I can get a little, um, so a few more questions from people uh, from the internet. Thank you to those people who asked some questions. I always love doing some Q&A. But on that note, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow.